Well, turning to the economy and the major concern about a possible recession. In a report just released today, the Federal Reserve says U.S. gross domestic product shrank for the second quarter in a row. ABC's Faith Abube has the latest. Fears that the U.S. is slipping into a recession. New federal data showing the U.S. economy slowed down by just under one percentage point in the second quarter after a 1.6 percent slide in the first quarter of the year. That's commonly understood as a recession. However, the National Bureau of Economic Research no longer defines two back-to-back -back quarters of shrinking GDP as an official recession. Still, the undeniable cooling of the U.S. economy in the face of record inflation means the pain for American families is no less real. The average American now paying an extra $493 a month due to rising prices on everything from groceries to housing. This has been very stressful overall because everything's going up but my paycheck. Wednesday, the Federal Reserve making a fourth attempt to tackle inflation and bring down prices, raising interest rates again by three quarters of a percentage point, meaning it'll cost even more for Americans to borrow money. My colleagues and I are acutely aware that high inflation imposes significant hardship, especially on those least able to meet the higher costs of essentials like food, housing and transportation. Meanwhile, a significant breakthrough for Democrats trying to tackle inflation, battle climate change and lower the federal deficit. In a remarkable reversal, moderate Senator Joe Manchin announcing a surprise deal with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer on a spending package. It would include a host of provisions, among them tax increases on big corporations and the wealthy. And with Manchin now on board, the next challenge for the majority leader is keeping all Senate Democrats together to get the package to President Biden's desk. They hope to vote on the bill next week. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.